Hello everyone. Today we're going to see if a 14 year old could change out a tire and put on a spare tire by himself. Now what I let him do is read the manual. Uh, there's a part in the manual where it shows you how to change out the tire and I let him watch uh, one of the top YouTube videos how to change a tire. That's it. Have you ever changed a tire out before Max? No. Okay so this is going to be a little comedic but I'm his dad, so I'm gonna be watching him. And also, I'm a currently certified master tech. Master tech. So, we got a professional in the house. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, Max, what are you gonna do first? Check out the car first. All right, let's, what do you, all right, go for it, let's see. All right, so you're gonna get your tools out first? This is how it works. Sort of, but a good good thing to do before you start is just get familiar with it, right? Mm -hmm. So this goes down, this goes up, right? Mm -hmm. So the way that it was in the car, it didn't fit under there, right? Yeah, so it goes down. Yeah. But does the jack just go under there anywhere it wants? No. Where does it go? You're under a tab. Like this part over here. Okay, and why does it go underneath there? So the car doesn't like fall or wiggle or no. It's because it's reinforced under there. Yeah. Anytime you're lifting anything, you want to center it. So in order to remove those nuts, what do you need to do first? Huh? I'm nothing. Technically, it's called breaking them loose. Breaking them loose. So you're going to learn about leverage here because... So what's, what's happening? It's they're not coming off. So how, what direction do you go to take off? Counterclockwise. Okay, okay. So what direction would that be with that? Okay, correct. So right now, the way you're positioned, what are you using to take it off? What muscles? What muscles are you using right there? This is a great example. What are you using right there? My hands, my arms. All right. So even for me, if I was trying to do this, right, if I was trying to go up, <clears throat> I'm just using my arm strength, which would be hard. So, for me, because I'm, I'm a heavier guy, what I like to do, and this is the right thing to do, is use leverage, use your weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this one for you, and I'm going to do one that's a little lower. Some people use their feet as well. That could be a little tricky. I just, I'm gonna use my weight here. So I'm using my weight and I got one loose. With that information, I want you to try that. You couldn't do it by yourself, but now I want you to see if you could use your weight to go down. Oh, I see it moving. There it is. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Great job, great job. There we go. Now 
Here, I'll get this one because it's a little funky. Mm -hmm. it, but when it's this funky, all you do is you go up one more. And now, you see how I'm over here? Yeah. And then I could just go there. Okay, so it looks like all five are loose, but not removed. Now, I think you could do what? Okay. I think we're good. All right. So I'm gonna show you something, Max. It's very important for you to learn this. All right, so we're doing this as if you were having to do this on the road. You usually don't have a jack stand, you know, in your car to change out a tire. So when you're using the manufacturer's jack, you always wanna make sure that nothing is underneath the car, not your feet, not your hands, also, this is an area where you don't want to put your hands either because if the car falls, it could pinch your hand. So essentially, safety is the most important thing. All right, what's the next step, Max? Um, it looks like you want to take out these bolts, Max. Okay, the lug nuts? Yes. All right. What should you be concerned about when you're removing the last lug nut? That this will fall, so you hold on to it? Yes and no. So typically the wheel should not fall off because it's sometimes on a hub or on a hub centric ring or it's just kind of has a superficial seal on the rotor. Usually it just stays on there. Sometimes it might fall depending on the car. But it's good for you to know that when you're removing the last lug nut, something could happen. It's just a good situational awareness tip. All right. See what you do. Pull it out. All right, Max, you got the wheel off. What are you gonna do next? We're gonna add in the spare tire. All right. Okay, so what's going to be the next thing? Uh, we're going to add this to here. Okay. Nuts. Sounds good. I stole one from you. Okay. Here we go. And the process of... Oh! 
I gotta stop you there, guys. I gotta help you. Huh. There you go. So what is this called? Um, just put it in the back. It's called hand tightening. Um, but you don't want to tighten it all the way, right? Yes. Just go ahead. You just want to start them. Start all of them first. Show me, show me what a star pattern is with those lugs, with your finger. Nope. Oh. How do you draw a star? You know the cool... Okay, so, one, two, three, yes. four, five. Correct. That's how you tighten it. This part is just preference. The most important thing is tightening them completely with star pattern. Perfect. Now you're going to tighten it with that one. So this is the second stage of tightening because in order you, you tighten them completely, the car is going to be down, but you go ahead and just snug them is what they call it at a star pattern right now. Watch your left foot. Remember the rule of safety? There you go. Yep. Just like that. That's a snug. Go to the next one, star pattern. Yep, correct. Perfect. 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 All right, so you've done, you've done hand tying and then you snug them. Now it's time for you to drop the vehicle down. So let's go ahead and lower it down. So I personally never feel comfortable being too relaxed when you're doing a job like this. So I would put yourself in a crouching position or, in a, or, or with one knee down. Yep. Okay, now, now what's next? There we go, put your, there we go, put your back into it. Ah, I like that. All right, you're still young. All right, next. Thank you for remembering the star pattern. Good job. See, you're remembering all the key steps. All right, we'll call that good. <laughs> and you did it, Max. You changed your own tire and it put a spare on there. Yeah. All right, yeah. Max. Well, that was awesome. I hope you guys had fun. And I'm proud of Max. We got to see someone change out their first tire their first time. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. You stay safe. Take care. And we will see you soon.